Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Whiteboard Wednesday. I took a little break from these, but we are back rolling every Wednesday. Uh, my name is Jesse Meekum. I'm the founder of UnionToBudget.com. I wanted to share with you some great news that our uh, Wine app for iPhone app is number one under the What's Hot section of the App Store and has been for several days now. So that's been fantastic. Today, I kind of want to do a review, maybe for people that are finding this through the App Store and want to kind of know what we're about and why it's different. Um, if you were starting now with YNAP, you would have piles of money se you know, separated into different accounts. Pretend you just have maybe a checking account. The first thing you would do is our, our main rule, really, and that is to give every dollar a job. It's kind of the core of the whole thing, accountability, awareness. So you take what you have now, this block, this chunk of money, and you would divide it into different different categories. And these different categories can be different amounts and they can be for whatever purpose you want. One of the things you can do is leave some of that money available and we'll just kind of color that in special. We're leaving that available. We're starting to build up a buffer, we call it, where you'll eventually have enough money saved at the beginning of a month where you won't have to spend any of that month's income. That's called your buffer. It replenishes every month. So you have the money at the beginning of the month, you spend it, and as you're spending it, you're earning more money replenishing that buffer. So you set aside a little bit to be saved for later. So let's pretend we move that into this month. And we let it sit, and we also let a little bit more sit. So we've got more of a buffer, and our box is actually slightly bigger as well, because we've saved that money. And then you just continue adding categories and they grow over time and you spend some of the money and everything's fine. Um, one thing that you can do with income that you earn is you can make it available for next month automatically. And that's just another way of building up that buffer. So you can leave it in the month and let it flow into the next month or you can specifically take income and say, I want all of you to go to next month or I want some of you to go to next month. So if you have earnings, you might have an inflow right here of uh, payment or whatever. You could send it into this, or you could say, well, hey, I wanted my buffer to be a little bit bigger for the next month, so let's send some over this way as well. And then all of a sudden, your buffer, if you've left that money in there, it's just it's growing over time, and uh, your, whole, your whole box is actually growing. So as this buffer grows, then you just keep doing this. Every month you leave more in there, you know, leave more available, more available. All the other stuff you use, you just budget into these different categories. And these categories start to grow over time. So here you might have just a little bit and then here you have a little bit more because you're saving for vacation and here you're saving even more for vacation. And so your balances are growing over time. So you can take, you can leave money available and have it roll into the next month, leave more in there and have that buffer section grow. Or as you get an inflow, you can categorize some or all of that inflow to be available now, which you can see it's flowing into this month, or you can have it flow into the next month automatically and grow your available funds even more. Eventually you get to the point where you've reached budgeting nirvana and you have a sizable chunk of money on hand and we call that in YNAB, I don't remember who coined it, they said, welcome to buffer land, and so there you are. And at the beginning of the month, your entire available amount is your buffer. And then you start to categorize and assign it money. The cool thing about it is, as you have another inflow, Instead of sending any of it here, you send it all to the next month and replenish that all again. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. I did another one on the buffer, another wiper Wednesday, but I thought maybe this would be a different visual. Kind of showing you how you can assign to different categories, but also leave some there available. Have it roll into each month, just little bits at a time. Average person takes four months to get their buffer in place. So remember, you can do crazy things like just an all-out sprint and really go just intense with it. It's uh, it's not a marathon in this sense. It is a sprint. 
You can just cinch the belt extremely tight, eat everything in your pantry, do all sorts of things to just not touch those month's paychecks and be able to defer them to the next month. So, uh, welcome to the new Wine App users, the founders of the App Store. I want to thank everyone for their support in that. We are working on a 1.1, which will have transfers, flags, and I believe uh, kind of a more streamlined, or a, no, uh, passcode, a, a pin, an unlock code for the app. So your kids can't pop on there and browse around. Uh, although, consider setting up a budget for your kids. Anyway, my name is Jesse Meekin. I want to thank you for watching this Whiteboard Wednesday. I will see you next week. Have a great day, guys.